Would anybody like to quiz Martin further? Plenty of questions. Can we start down here, please? Hi, I'm from Exchange for Media in India. Uh, this basically just emanates from your, one of your pet peeves, which is don't do digital. Increasingly, a lot of traditional media is also digital, whether it's television or radio or uh, even newspapers for that matter. When we talk about digital activation and when people talk about how much they're spending on digital, where do these spends really go in and you know, do they become a part of digital? That's a huge problem. Um, we, how many here suffer from SAP? <laughs> I do. Not a lot. Okay. Well, it's troubling. Um, so we use SAP as a um, as a financial management tool, and within SAP we have these standardized categories for how to classify budgets. Um, and um, as a result of that, out of SAP run you, you run reports, and and the problem with that is that. You're absolutely right. I mean, if I take that program of Bud House, is that my mainstream campaign? Is that my digital campaign? Um, is it a advertising campaign or is it a PR campaign? Uh, and the answer is yes. And so um, the, the way we report our, our investments and, and the way we sort of classify budgets uh, is, is, is troublesome and, and, and problematic. We're, we're trying to change that now internally but we're not even clear ourselves yet in terms of exactly how we need to classify that. Um, because, you know, as I just said, um, uh, the, the, the answers to these pieces, uh, you, you can classify them in, in many different ways. The same is with working versus non-working. That, that's another one that I, I probably should have listed that as pet peeve as well. Um, you know, working budget is anything that reaches the consumer and non-working is anything that you invest before you actually get to put it in front of the consumer. That's the idea. But in my mind, if I um, create a 15-second um, uh, uh, video that only goes online, then the placement cost could be zero, and the production cost could be $15,000. But that means 100% non-working in the old definition. So all of these classifications, basically, we need to forget about that. And, and we need to come up with, with a new classification system, which we don't have yet. I, I don't have it. I'm, I'm, hoping that somebody might, but I don't have it yet, but, but we're in desperate need of it. We're trying to sort of change our internal system at least to reflect some of that. Thank you. Thank you. There's a, a question behind you. It's just, a, I guess it's a, another version of the old Lord Lever problem too, yep. isn't it? Yep. They're all interlinked and you don't know what but Exactly. Happens. Hi, I'm, uh, I'm Scott Tegetop from UM in New York. Uh, Hi, we're, Scott. We're nice to meet you. Agencies, so <laughs> Martin and I know each other. Um, we've known each other for actually quite a while. But my big question is, you, you've done a lot of innovation around great commercials at ABM Bev. What, what are you doing to drive innovation around contact usage? Yeah, Th absolutely true. Um, so we, we did another round of uh, Super Bowl commercials um, fairly recently, um, which were very successful. We ended up um, in the top 10 in the top five, and we had three commercials, I think, in the top five, so we were quite pleased with ourselves. We need to reinvent that whole thinking. Um, and, and so after the Super Bowl, I sent a message saying, OK, so we've done that. This was a year of transition. For the next Super Bowl, so what, is the, what is the story that we're going to tell? One of the things that we're doing with this group of people that we're bringing together in Stanford is we're going to spend a day with Pixar, and they're going to teach us storytelling. Not about how do you storytell in a commercial, or how do you storytell um, in, in a in film, but how do you storytell in terms of sequencing and building up a, uh, a story to a consumer. The film industry is doing that extremely well. We saw the Avatar commercial this morning, and, and they're doing that extremely well. You know, they, they start seeding really early, and, and they do that with only influencers, and then it goes out to a broader group, and, and they use digital really well. And we can learn from that. So we're going to spend time with, with Pixar to, to learn about that and to do it, do it better. And I think, no, I hope <laughs> that for um, uh, events like Super Bowl, World Cup, and, and, and those other opportunities where we will have uh, uh, you know, a, a big and dramatic television or video presence, but I hope that there's going to be a story that leads up to that and a story that sort of continues on afterwards. And, and that's not where, uh, what, what we're good at today, but that's something that we're going to spend time on, on learning and, and be better at tomorrow. We've got a straightforward question coming up here. It's been texted through. 
What will constitute success for you at the World <laughs> Cup? Um, so we see this World Cup um, a little bit as a, um, as a learning exercise. Um, we are a new company um, and we have um, um, renegotiated the contract that was with Anheuser Busch before and it now sort of encompasses all of these brands. I think success this time will be, and, oh, and I should say, by the way, that most companies like Adidas or Coke or, or, or McDonald's, they start planning those events four years in advance. Yeah. We started last year, June, because you know we had some other things to do, like <laughs> integrating all of these companies. And so we were quite late, and, and I'm, I'm amazed at how far we've gotten, and, and hopefully if all of this comes, comes off as well as, as we think it will, then, then we will have done pretty well. But it, the success will be um, share increase, volume increase, and brand equity increase. And not one of three, but hopefully all three. And for how those much brands. are you investing in this learning experience? Um, I, 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 wanted, I, I don't know the percentage, but, but it, significantly more. We, we have not been good at, at really understanding the full impact of these events. We have invested in the past in, in understanding pieces, right? I mean, everybody owned a piece and they measured that piece. And then they said, yep, that worked really well, right? I got the lowest media cost, or I got the best click-through rates, or I got the best um, uh, participation in the promotion. But really sort of bringing it all together and really understanding sort of business success is that if, if we can get there and, and understand how we got there and then hopefully also see a positive result, that will spell success for me. But are the terms of the deal with FIFA public? Um, yeah, well, public-ish. <laughs> for those who might have missed them. Yeah, go and Google it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. There's or Bing question. it, sorry, Bing it, Bing it. I should say Bing it, Microsoft. Yeah. 